70s when he had chart-topping hits such as Cars and Our Friends Electric. Gary Newman hasn't stopped experimenting ever since then. He is about to release a new album and starts a UK tour uh, later this month. Let's have a listen to his latest sound. something a bit sinister about that video. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Somebody kind of hanging there of their wrists, weren't they? Spooky for the, <laughs> for the time of the morning. <laughs> he deserved it, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Um, well, welcome to the programme. Thank you. Thank what, uh, so what are you up to? Well, we've got the, that album coming out, Death Sun Rising, in a week or two, and tour to go with that. In two halves, actually. We tour in September and again in December with the same record. Uh, it's a collaboration single with a band called Battles coming out any time now. And there's another new album coming out in the new year where I can get so that you're busy. finished. Yeah, yeah, very actually. Do you know, Gary, the, the thing that occurs to me as soon as you walk in, I'm sure people are going to think this is, you know, over the years, some uh, singers, musicians, stars, whatever, they change their look quite a bit. Mm. But essentially, when you, you've kind of got the same, you've got the same look going on. You've, you know, the eyeshadow and the, yeah, the jet black hair. And habit, really. Is, it, is that what it is? Oh, you just kind so. of stuck yeah. with it. Well, it, it, it makes me look better than it does without it. <laughs> So you look better with eye makeup than without. Yeah, I think most people do actually. So what do you wear? Eyeliner? <laughs> Mascara? Oh god, I've got a wife, she does it. <laughs> does she? I just sit there and, I, and it all gets Your wife done. does your makeup for you? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Yes, um, as we were doing the... Uh, yes, yeah, she's here as yeah, well. as well as hitting me around the face while she's coming on TV. What was all that about? <laughs> what, what was going on? Was there some kind of a... Oh, it's all friendly. <laughs> all friendly? She's just getting you in the mood for being on... Yeah, you missed a kicking before that, didn't you? <laughs> well, I'm, all, I'm glad this is all good natured. Um, <laughs> it's a rock and roll lifestyle, obviously. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> nothing you need to share with us. No. No. Okay, no. Nothing you want to share with us, no. clearly. No, not really. Um, uh, Shall we look back at uh, you performing? This is back. I, I said 1970s as we did the introduction there. I can't, is it, was it really back in the 1970s? Our Friends Electric and Cars? Yeah, 79, both of them, yeah. And as we did the introduction, we said Our Friends Electric. And I've always thought it was a question and never known the answer. So what was that all about? Oh, it's a, it was a sci-fi story that I was writing about um, uh, machines with cloned human skin that did all the horrible menial jobs, including prostitution. It's actually about a prostitute, an electronic prostitute. OK. Really? I, and do you know what? Yeah. I didn't gonna say sound... that at the time, obviously, because I probably wouldn't have got on top of the pops with it, but it was, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to sound really stupid now. For all these years, literally until we've sat here, I thought it was our... Friends Electric, and as in O U R. No, I R E R Friends Electric. And I bet you didn't yeah. know it was about. I didn't what know it was that about either. either. We're on a learning curve this morning. <laughs> Shall we have a look? Yeah, okay. This <laughs> is cars. Tell us, Gary, tell us a little bit about those early Top of the Pops appearances. Did you deliberately kind of conjure up an image of, I don't know what to say tactfully, but sort of slightly weirdness? Because I remember watching at the time, uh, you know, impressionable young man and thinking, ooh, there's sort of weird Gary Newman with his funny Look. moves. I and mean, there was that, was that conjured? <laughs> what was that? No, the moving, I just can't dance for love nor money. So the, move, the moving like that, unfortunately, was all quite natural. Some of it was contrived and some of it wasn't. I, I'd watched Top of the Pops for years as a kid. I knew that everyone used to look at the camera all the time, and I thought that looked a bit silly, so I didn't do any of that. I've always been conscious. I've, I've kind of grown into my teeth now, but when I was younger then, my, my teeth at the front seemed 
overly large to me so I didn't like to smile. I thought I had a really ugly smile. Oh, hence the kind of the scowl, Yeah, so the, very kind of serious. serious. And then you do something like that and then the press write about it and they talk about this cold looking thing and suddenly something seems to be working with it. And so you, you develop it. But the Arthur Inge Electric one was, uh, I think, only the, the, the first time I've been on television, the second time ever. So it, I had no idea how people were going to react to it. And it kind of develops from then on as you see, what, you know, as you mm. see the reaction to it. You know? mm. How would you have done on something like X Factor? Oh, really badly. I can't sing very well <laughs> at all, obviously. <laughs> so you, I, 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 so I mean, I'm not a, a big X Factor fan, or, or, nor am I against it. I, it doesn't mean much to me at all, really. But I, I personally, and the sort of thing that I do, wouldn't, wouldn't last two minutes on that. It's all very um, formulaic, isn't it? You know, you, know, you know the kind of thing that's going to win, you know the sort of music they're going to do. Nothing wrong with that, but obviously I, I wouldn't have fitted into that whatsoever. So you're not anti X Factor, you're no, the no. antithesis of X Factor. Yeah, uh, it's just not, not my thing, yeah. really. And I can't sing as well as those people. So when you go on tour, what, what do you do? Um, if you can't sing? Well, I can sing my own stuff well enough. <laughs> Perform. It's good enough. It's good enough. Uh, <laughs> okay, lovely to see you this morning. The, the new album out now, so thank you very much. Thank Dead you. Sun Rising, it is. It's released on October the 24th. Thanks for your company today. Have a great day.